has to use the restroom to sneak out. This is going to be a short one. Okay, I'm your brother Mario Camarogan. I uh, live by Corsillo on uh, February 14 to 17, 1986 at Mount Mary Immaculate in Lafayette, Corsillo number 34, and I belong to the Victoria of St. James. <laughs> this topic happens to be near and dear to my heart. And so I am going to give you some information tonight. But you can always add on to the information I'm going to give you by consulting Mr. Google or the internet. Okay? Uh, most of my talk actually came from the internet anyway. Just a brief, uh, brief uh, discussion about secretariat. This word is a French word. Okay, it's a French word and uh, in medieval Latin it is called secretariatus. Secretariatus. And then I went on to uh, uh, dictionary.com, and uh, the definition it gives me is it is an office responsible for the secretarial, clerical, and administrative affairs affairs of a legislative body, executive council, or international organization. And then Wikipedia has a different definition. Okay, uh, it's called uh, well, it says here. Secretariat was an American thoroughbred race horse <laughs> that in 1973 became the first U.S. Yeah. Triple Crown champion in 25 years. Yeah. 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 That is not the secretariat we're, we're talking about. Okay. Well, none of us that fast. Okay. In the Corsillo, secretariat is the governing body of the Corsillo movement on the national, regional, and local level. Okay, so there are three types of secretariat. Okay, so let me start with the diocesan secretariat. That's us. Okay, it is composed of the clergy and laity. They, the whole secretariat is entrusted by the bishop with the responsibility of promoting. Let me go to my, promoting, developing, and directing the Corsio movement in a diocese. It serves the needs of all the Corsistas in their diocese. Okay, uh, number two is the regional secretariat. It is composed of all the diocesan lay directors and all the diocesan spiritual advisors within a region. One of their responsibilities is to determine and meet the needs of for the various diocesan Corsillo movements within the region. Diocese of Oakland belongs to Region 11. So we belong to Region 11. Uh, in fact, on April 11th to 13th, Region 11 will have the regional encounter in Fresno. So for siestas from the different dioceses like San Diego, San Francisco, Sacramento, San Jose, San Bernardino, Los Angeles, Hawaii, and of course, Oakland will be attending the event. So it's gonna be a big gathering. Now the third one is the National Secretariat. It is composed of the regional coordinators from the 12 regions in the United States. The National Secretariat serves the needs of the 12 regions. So the next national encounter happens to be here in California. So we are so thankful it's, it's happening in California. Last time it's out of the state. Okay, so it is happening on July 31 to August 3 at the Chapman University in Orange, California. It is just like five miles away from Disneyland. So, <laughs> that's good. All right. Okay. So all secretariats have one thing in common. They are a community of service, meaning servants of the servants. Tonight, let us focus on the diocesan secretariat, our Filipino Corsillo secretariat. The authority entrusted to the diocesan secretariat is to embrace, study, and promote the charism of the movement. The spiritual advisor, always a priest, deacon or above religious, is responsible for matters concerning doctrine and conscience. Deacon Steve is currently our spiritual advisor, appointed by the bishop, and we are so thankful, Deacon, that you have been serving as that. Yes. The lay director should always be a lay person responsible for the organization and methodology of the movement. And that's moi. <laughs> Other secretariat members 
include the chairperson for the School of Leaders. Currently, it's uh, Sister Penny de Leon, she's doing a wonderful job. Post Porcillo is Sister Annie Villarente. Three day Porcillo, uh, currently, is Sister Sheila Ugado, she's not here tonight. And the pre Porcillo currently is Sister Norma Kawa. We also have the treasurer, Sister Edith Guevara. Secretary currently is Sister Katrina Porungao, and the newsletter editor currently is Sister Mirla Raimundo. So that is the secretariat. <coughs> All secretariat members have voice and a vote, except for Deacon. It's <laughs> 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 true. He too much vote, voice yeah? sometimes. But he's in charge of the Too much <laughs> voice sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Members of the Secretariat come from the School of Leaders. Their selection places them in a position to be of greater service to the movement. There are two structural elements of the Corsillo movement. One is the School of Leaders and the second one is Secretariat. I know there are more information about the School of Leaders, but this is for another day. The focus tonight is about the Secretariat, although they are indivisible. Each one is dependent on the other and neither can function properly without the other. It is from the school leaders that the members of the secretariat are discerned from, and then it is the school that supports the work of the secretariat. Only those leaders who have actively participated in the school can authentically understand the needs of the movement they serve. The movement will not function as intended if there is no active secretariat and school leaders. To use an image of Eduardo Bonin, the founder of the Corsillo movement, he likens the movement to an umbrella in which the secretariat is the body of the umbrella and the school is the spokes that support it and keep it in place. The Corsillistas who serve the movement in the secretariats and school of leaders can best be described as keepers of the flame of the vision of the founder, keeping it burning brightly as a beacon for all those whose paths are illuminated by the light. <clears throat> they are the servants of the servants. Their role is to be one of simple service to the movement. The secretariats exist in order to simplify, facilitate, and make possible the living of in everything that is fundamentally Christian and to be the guardians of the purity of the method. I know Sister Penny mentioned about it is timely because we have new members of the Secretariat coming. It is really true, really true. The internationally renowned priest and author, respected professor at the University of Notre Dame and the Divinity Schools of Yale and Harvard, and beloved pastor Henry Nowen, in his book, In the Name of Jesus, Reflections on Christian Leadership, they speak very clearly of the danger, but also of the solution for this, for those who serve the, mo the movement in the secretariat. It is the responsibility and function to constantly deepen the understanding of the fundamental charism and to apply its principles for the good of the movement. If the secretariat as assumes an identity that resembles a board of directors, then it can only be said that is, is far removed from its Christian context. <coughs> All decisions that are made must be for the good of the movement, bearing in mind at all times that in Corsio, all that is done is done with the good of the person as the primary focus. The best criterion to use is, what would Jesus do if he were here? Of course he's here, so. <laughs> the school of leaders and the secretariat never come together simply to do something, but always, first and foremost, to be something together. In his explicit definition of what the secretariat and its members should be concerned with, he says, Porcillo is not to feed is not to feed people, but to make them hungry for God. Unfortunately, all too often. It becomes a place of prestige, power, and control instead of the place where committed leaders act together to find ways to guide the movement themselves being living as corsilistas are living in the world. 
The spirit of this secretariat should be the spirit of group reunion, which is based on friendship. It will be difficult for the secretariat to become a dynamic reality within the greater community if it does not itself possess a true community spirit, which is also the spirit of friendship. The literature goes on to say, in an atmosphere of, atmosphere of teamwork or friendship, we are speaking the truth and freely expressing one's own opinion are not only possible, but appreciated. Whereupon, finding differences, friendship will not suffer, nor willingness to come to an agreement. Where once a decision has been reached, all will be unconditionally loyal to carrying out that decision. Our secretariat is, I, all I can say is, it's, it's very robust, very dynamic. We are all friends. We agree to disagree at times. But all in all, I'm so excited with the, with the current secretary that we have. That's why, deep in my heart, uh, we have five or six who are living. They are not. They, they did not express their intention to run again, but they have served the movement really well, yes. and I thank them really well. Thank you, Andy Colores. Thank you, Rada Mario.